Hello Virgo, thank you so much for checking out this video. This is going to be your love reading. It'll be a general love reading for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. It will not resonate with everyone watching, so feel free to check out your other placements for more messages. Um, before I start, I just wanted to send out a lot of love, light, and just positivity. I hope this video finds you well, healthy, and I just send a lot of love and peace your way because I know we're going through some very uncertain times right now and so i'm really happy that you're here joining me today so for today's reading i have two oracle decks in front of me i'm going to pick from them um i already pre-shuffled them off camera so i'm going to split the decks here so let's see what we have for you virgo in love spirit what messages do you have for virgo in love let's see journey beautiful interesting some of you are on a journey in love headed somewhere possibly living at a distance from someone possibly on your way to someone let's see what other messages do you have for virgo yang beautiful energy this reminds me a lot about ace of wands so there's a lot of passion creativity and action here so some of you are taking action on and going on a journey here in love. Let's see what the tarot has to say. Spirit, what messages do you have for Virgo? Messages for Virgo, please, in regards to love. Okay, let's see. Huge thank you to everyone who has liked, subscribed, commented on the videos recently. I read all of your comments and they make my day i get like most of them are very positive and so i'm very grateful for that whatever situation i talk about today the situation could have already happened in the past be currently happening or happen in the future because time is fluid so keep that in mind and feel free to flip the roles if they resonate so let's see what we have for virgo please spirit in regards to love what do you have for virgo Okay, starting off with the Ten of Pentacles. That's in the recent past. Okay, so what are the current energies then for Virgo? Ace of Cups. Wow. All right. Knight of Cups just flipped out. Beautiful. Anything else? You guys had a very beautiful reading last week. So let's see. Five of Cups, Ace of Swords. Wow, two aces. So what's in the near future then? What's in the near future for Virgo? Someone has had clarity about the past is what I see here. Um, about their past regrets. Someone has had some sort of clarity. The Fool, perfect. That fits so well with Journey. Okay, so what I'm seeing here is someone so you can see it someone's going on a new journey they're taking a leap of faith here possibly for love i have ace of cups knight of cups someone communicating their feelings towards you virgo we are going to clarify all of these but someone's taking a leap of faith i feel like someone was already in a connection with the ten of pentacles or this is what you want um but there's been some sort of clarity here so let's clarify, get more information. Spirit, help me clarify these energies for Virgo, please. Help me clarify these energies for Virgo, please. Regarding love. I just saw the Fool again. Yeah, look at this. The Fool and the Ten of Wands. So definitely a new beginning here for some of you Virgos. Either you or the person that you are involved with. In. And look at this, Ace of Cups. Someone's putting down a burden to go after their Ace of Cups. So tell me about this Ten of Pentacles. What's this Ten of Pentacles about? Usually this is a long-term commitment, stability, and security. It's a card for family. Can you tell me about the Ten of Pentacles for Virgo, please, Spirit? Can you tell me about Virgo? 
Ten of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles. Okay, putting in effort, working on a relationship. And then the Nine of Swords. Stress, anxiety, someone put uh, Five of Pentacles, King of Pentacles. Interesting. Someone is finding stability again after having some sort of insecurity financially or just, you know, someone here was left out in the cold or left behind or abandoned here with the Five of Pentacles. There was a lack here. There was something missing with the Five of Pentacles. Something that somebody was stressed about regarding a relationship, Nine of Swords, sleepless nights, worried, guilt possibly. And I feel like this person has been working on themselves to rebuild. If I could pick up my card, which I can't, okay. Someone has been working on themselves to rebuild their stability, putting an effort in themselves. And I, I just heard rather than this partnership. So that's what I see. So tell me about this Ace of Cups. Because I feel like someone here, this wasn't really working out. Tell me about the Ace of Cups for Virgo. Or someone wants this very badly. Long-term stability with someone. And so they've been working on themselves and they've been stressed and anxious. Um, trying to get to that level where they can make an offer. Page of Wands. Okay, so a message here being sent, a passionate message um, about a potential here. Okay, I have Death with um, Sign of Scorpio here. Transformation. High Priest is someone using their intuition to probably have an ending here. Two of Pentacles going back and forth, weighing their options about making this offer. Weighing their options, too, about whether they should send this message. Someone here is wondering if they should send a message. If they should transform this situation. Cards keep moving around. Someone's intuition has probably led them to ha have some sort of ending here. And now they're kind of going back and forth about sending this message about communicating how they feel. Tell me about the Knight of Cups. This could be an apology or an offer about, you know, just expressing how they feel. Why is the Knight of Cups here? Six of Pentacles. Yeah, someone could be apologizing to make something right here to rebalance the situation. They want equal give and take. Yeah, look at this. Someone wants to reunite with someone, possibly. Come together with someone with the Three of Cups and the Lovers. Could also be a third party situation, doesn't have to be, but I am gonna say it because there's three people in each of these cards, even though technically this is supposed to be an angel, this person here in the lover's card. Someone has made some sort of decision between the head and the heart, and I feel like they've chosen someone here to give their cup to. They wanna rebalance the situation here. So I do feel possibly it's an apology. Ace of Swords at the bottom of the deck. So someone has had some sort of clarity, some truth that they want to communicate here. I have Ace of Swords here as well. Tell me about the Five of Cups. So this person could be having some regret. I did mention that when I first saw this card. Someone has is sad about possibly the ending that happened or that they had to, to, to do. They had The ending they had to make. I don't know how to say that. <laughs> Someone's, uh, someone's sad, someone's despondent, someone's disappointed. What else about this Five of Cups? Okay, so we have the World and the Three of Pentacles. Okay, so someone here is possibly sad about a cycle that closed. Um, I feel like someone's also thinking that they put in their effort to build something that didn't work out here
Probably they're sad that they have to start over. Tell me more about this Five of Cups. Probably regretting the past, regretting what they put an effort into. Yeah, look at this, the Star and the Hermit. So someone has really been withdrawn, um, trying to heal from a situation. I have Sign of Virgo here, there you are, and Aquarius. So. Um, this could be you, Virgo, healing from a situation. This is you trying to keep the faith here with the star. Um, being withdrawn, trying to listen to your intuition, to figure out what went wrong, to, to listen to your inner voice here with the hermit. This could also be part of this journey um, because the hermit's all about, he goes on his own journey to kind of figure out what he truly wants, um, what his inner voice is telling him. Eight of Cups at the bottom of the deck. So someone definitely went on a, they walked away from something and they're sad about that. Tell me about the Ace of Swords. What's this Ace of Swords about? Okay, so we have the Emperor here, Sign of Aries, Queen of Pentacles, and the Hangman. Okay, so again, clarity here with the hangman. I'm really getting that someone has had an epiphany and aha moment, um, something that they've realized about themselves, about a situation they were in. I feel like this emperor wants to go after their queen of pentacles. Um, this could be you, Virgo, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn here. Um, but someone here, this emperor, I'm really getting the sense that this emperor wants to be with this queen of pentacles or vice versa like um this emperor wants to bring s stability to a situation wants to con take back control of a situation um and i feel like they want to make this happen with this queen of pentacles tell me more about the ace of swords Tell me more about the Ace of Swords, Queen of Cups. Look at this. So it could be two people involved here, Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Cups, doesn't have to be. It could just be this person has a lot of feelings for this Queen of Pentacles. There's a lot of feelings involved. There's someone that's thinking about long-term stability. Five of Cups at the bottom of the deck again. So this person probably, um, lost control or regrets something that happened in the past and now with the emperor energy and the clarity that they have they want to make things right tell me about the fool tell me about the fool please there's the ace of swords again <laughs> Clarity, for sure. Eight of Swords. So someone's worried about this new beginning in their head about whether this is going to work out. Overthinking. Someone's overthinking about this new clarity, about this new cycle they're in. Um, probably they're worried about where this is all headed, how everything's going to play out. Tell me more about the Fool. I feel like this decision to cut something out of this person's life was not easy and they were in their head about it. I feel like this person's very in their head about, yeah. The devil, sign of Capricorn. Someone cut out this energy. It wasn't easy for them to do it. It wasn't easy for them to take back power and go on a new path. That's what I'm getting here. I feel like they're still going to do it though. There's the Eight of Cups, yeah. They're still going to do it. They're gonna to walk towards, yeah, there's the Six of Swords behind that. They're gonna to walk towards their Ten of Cups and their Four of Wands here. This person wants emotional fulfillment, to be happy, to have stability, to have peace. That's what I'm seeing here. So let's see if we can get some more clarity about this situation. Spirit, what other messages can you give me for Virgo? 
regarding love, what messages do you have for Virgo regarding this situation? What other messages do you have for Virgo regarding this situation? Purpose. I know what I am here to do. Yeah, this person, of course I dropped that one. Purpose and acceptance. I'm learning to accept the things that I cannot change. This person is accepting that they have a new purpose or they realize that they have a new purpose in life. With acceptance, I feel like they probably gave their all to whatever situation they were in and they're just accepting that it wasn't, it just was never going to work out. It was never going to be something they could change. Anything else for Virgo regarding this situation? Imagination. I embrace and nourish the creative aspect of my mind. This person is imagining a new life for themselves. They're manifesting. That card to me reminds me a lot of um, the magician manifesting. Bottom of the deck, I have courage. I find the inner strength to face fear with confidence. So I feel like this person does have fears about where they're headed, about this journey they're on now. And I feel like it's they have fear, but that's not holding them back. I feel like this person is still going to go after their happiness, go after their emotional fulfillment. And I think they're going to go after someone to make an offer here with the Ace of Cups. So this person could be coming to you, Virgo, to make an offer or vice versa. But there's a message coming in here. An apology, most likely, as well. And a possible reunion with the Three of Cups. Thank you so much for spending time with me, Virgo. I really appreciate it. I hope that this reading resonated with most of you. If it did, please leave me a comment. I love hearing from you. Please consider subscribing or liking the video if you enjoy my readings. And I'll see you guys back here in another video. Take care.